My name is Ji Dong, and I work at Intel. So Ceph on Mesos is basically a framework on Mesos that can help you deploy and scale Ceph cluster on Mesos. Um, the motivation was um, that we want to build a, um, a big data um, platform on top of Mesos. Then we need a data, data storage backend so that it can be used by the big data applications as well by the other cloud native applications. Because if a customer chooses to run their big data applications on top of Mesos, they probably want to run their existing other um, applications on top of Mesos as well. So in that case, we need a storage backend that can work with either type of uh, applications. So basically, the way we implement the safe Mesos is just like copy the uh, way a self deploy tool works. So um, by default, uh, the safe Mesos, uh, when you deploy the safe Mesos framework on, on, on top of Ceph Mesos, uh, uh, on top of Mesos, it will launch a default cluster with one Ceph uh, uh, monitor node and uh, three Ceph OSD node and one Ceph Rados gateway. So then after that, and the user can scale up, scale out the cluster on demand by sending a RESTful API to the Ceph Mesos scheduler. So the, uh, in the pyramid of that uh, API, you can specify the type of the uh, instance you want to scale out. Here in this example, we will scale, add two more OSD nodes to these existing clusters. Then so um, in that case, in that case, if any of the cluster, uh, any node of the, any instance of the cluster failed due to some process crashing or some any other issue, the, the Mesos scheduler will maintain a status, status uh, about, the, about this, uh, the healthy of each node. So uh, as long as the underlying storage is still available, the disk, the, I mean the data on the disk is still available, the Mesos will try to recover that node on this exactly same host. So it means even if the container crashed, the Mesos scheduler can still recover that container on the exactly same node. As long as the data was there, everything can come back. So that's something the current um, Mesos, uh, the safe deploy tool cannot do. So um, let me go to a little bit of details. Um, the, the, uh, our, imp our implementation use the um, safe Mesos, the safe Docker image from the safe doc project. So it means when you deploy a cluster, those images will be downloaded from the Docker Hub on the fly, but you can always create a local private repository. In that case, the download speed will be much faster. So we, ha we actually did some testing on that. So usually, if you have a local repository for your Docker image, it usually take a few, like tens of seconds to launch a small cluster. Well, we have the data in the next page. Then uh, our implementation allows to run multiple OSD instances on the same uh, physical host. Uh, we use the Mac VLAN as the network solution. So every container will have its own IP address with the same port. So there's no conflict at all. But uh, we have designed this to make sure those containers on the same host are aware of the uh, topology. So that means uh, the data replication policy can be executed correctly. The same, the, the, the same, the, co the, uh, the different copies of the same data will not be located on the same physical machine. So that's the, exactly the way uh, a native safe cluster works. So the third thing is that we can allow user to specify the disks that you want to use by your OSD. So in a typical safe cluster, maybe your, your uh, uh, a, a typical Mesos cluster, maybe the slave node will have one or more physical disks, but only, but the admin may determine which of those physical disks should be used by the safe cluster. So that can be specified in a configuration file in the safe Mesos scheduler. So that configuration could be global, like all the nodes only, for all the nodes only the SDB and SDC will be used by the OSD, but it, it could, could be also the uh, node specific. You can specify only a portion of the node will assign SDB and SDC to the OSD, but the rest can assign uh, SDE or SDF or so and so on. 
then uh, the disks assigned to the OSD will be mounted to a local uh, directory first, then that, uh, that the directory will be mounted to the container so that the, uh, the, the uh, OSD process can access the data on the disks. And currently, um, we are using the same, same um, disks for both the data and the journal, but in the future, we are going to allow uh, admin to specify a dedicated journal partition for the OSD. That's the, I think uh, that's a reasonable um, for a typical self-deployment because you want to make sure the journal partition has much has faster performance than the uh, data disk. Now finally, the reconciliation feature, we are uh, still working on that. Hopefully you can see it soon. Then here's a few um, basic data points. Uh, as I said, when we launch a default cluster with one monitor, three OSD, and one gateway, uh, it would take like one minute. Most of the time I spend in the, um, creating the basic file system on the disk and then mount that file system to this container. But uh, after that, if you want to scale out the cluster by adding five more OSDs, in our experiment it took only 30 seconds. Then and the table below is some performance data we measured with the uh, self values bench. Um, basically, uh, here we use the three OSDs, uh, each on a HDD, so the performance is, uh, is kind of within our expectation. So, but as I said, the performance is not the point we want to emphasize. The, the thing we want to emphasize is that with this uh, self methods framework, deploy and scale self on top of a method would be much easier. Then at the bottom of the slide, there's a link to our project. We would like to um, invite everybody to participate in this project. So if there's an enough, uh, enough interest from the in industry, we would like to um, make this project uh, become a Apache incubating project. Thank you.